from the Transfer Express Studios in Menor, Ohio. We are going live with your host, Stephanie. Hey everyone, I am Stephanie. Thank you, Dave. And I'm coming here live from the Transfer Express Studios right here in Mentor, Ohio with the live Toast to Transfers uh, heat printing event. So thank you all for joining me. I see the chat is already starting to blow up with all of you guys coming in from all over the country. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, Donna from Wyoming, thank you guys so much. I've got the chat here, so um, it is available to you to use. Um, Brindy from Florida here. I hope everyone down in Florida in the hurricane is staying safe. Um, so our, our thoughts are definitely with everybody down in Florida today. Um, Lori, thank you so much for coming in from Colorado. Again, all over the country, you guys are coming in to join me for a super fun holiday heat printing event. Um, I'm again coming here from Transfer Express and I've got a beautiful team, a very, very happy, jolly team of elves behind me that are helping put on this awesome, awesome presentation here for you all today. Um, so I want to give a shout out before we even get started and to let a couple people uh, join us still, whoever is um, popping in here late, no worries. Um, but I want to give a shout out to our team here that is um, producing this Toast to Transfers event for us. I've got Vince behind the camera with me. He's making everything look wonderful and beautiful for us. Um, I've got Dave here who is managing the video, who is going to help us also with um, going online maybe and showing us some things at transferexpress.com. So thank you, Dave, for being here. Absolutely, I'm always happy to be here. Awesome. So, and also in the chat, let's not forget our friend Gorilla from the Halloween Toaster Transfers. We have Mike behind the scenes today. Uh, Gorilla is taking a break, but we have Mike behind the scenes today who is on the chat. So if you guys have any questions as we're getting going, um, feel free to use that chat. Again, I see everybody coming in. Bonnie from Indiana, thank you so much for being here. Um, Thank you guys all. I'm, I'm reading this as they're like going up, so it's hard to keep track of, but that's okay. We're going to um, have a fun, fun time here at another Toast to Transfers uh, live heat printing event. We've had a full year of Toast to Transfers events. We started last year and we've been doing, I think we've got a good... Uh, 10 maybe under our belt so far. So we are going to have a lot of fun. You guys are all here with me to um, learn how to decorate, to have a shot at um, learning about a few of the different types of transfers, the heat transfers from Transfer Express. Um, for those of you who are joining us um, and had the opportunity to. This is a press along event where I'm going to use the heat press. We're going to press and decorate some um, items using our screen printed and digital transfers, but you guys can all press along with me. So you had the opportunity to, um, in the last month or so, to pre order the Toast to Transfers pressing kit. So I have one here uh, in front of me and we will deep dive inside of it um, and see all of the contents here in a second. Um, but you all had the opportunity to decorate using um, or to pre-order, excuse me, the kit to press along with us. Um, so those of you who are pressing along with us, if you can um, get your heat press and you can set it and get it ready, we're going to start our heat pressing at 340 degrees. For those of you guys who have a Hotronics heat press, like I have here, uh, this is a Hotronics Auto Clam 16 by 20, and it is on a caddy stand here, which makes it nice and easy to roll around and maneuver around and raise and lower. Um, but all in all, it's the Auto Clam 16 by 20. And I do have a nice little slip cover on top of it here um, to make it easy to slip on and off things and keep it protected. But you guys might have your heat presses at home, might look a little bit different than this one, that's okay. If you are working with a non-Hotronics um, heat press, maybe a different brand, um, go ahead and raise your temperature up about 10 degrees uh, just to um, 
compensate for any uh, temperature differences for screen printed and our digital transfers. We need that perfect recipe of time, temperature, and pressure. So we want to make sure that all of our heat press settings are dialed in. We want to make sure that our heat presses are accurate. If you are using, again, a non-branded uh, heat press, go ahead and bump up that temperature 10 degrees. Um, so you're looking at 350 degrees. Um, because we are going to um, get started. I am going to um, go ahead and take a look inside the Toast to Transfers pressing kit so that you guys can all see what we're working with, see what we're going to be decorating for everybody that might be joining us who doesn't have a kit. No worries. I hope that you guys watch and learn along with me. There's so much valuable information that you guys can learn with us. So um, yeah, and hopefully for the next Toast to Transfers, jump on that pre-order of the kit and decorate along with us. So we've got the pressing kit. Let's take a look inside. And we've got, if you can, do you see? Okay. All right, in the pressing kit, we have um, on top, we have an application ruler. So this is going to help us in positioning and aligning our transfers here in a little bit. I will show you how to use that. Um, so that comes in there. Got my hat here. We've got, um, a Christmas stocking. So we're going to show you how you can easily decorate a Christmas stocking uh, ready for the holidays, ready to hang for custom, uh, uh, your custom apparel orders. If you do have a customer, maybe even a little boutique where you want to decorate some stockings to sell, I will show you how to easily decorate the stocking with a screen printed goof proof transfer. We also have a ladies v-neck district tee. And also a district crew neck sweatshirt. This is a really nice uh, quality crew neck sweatshirt here. Um, so if you have not tried these type of uh, items here, we're gonna show you how to uh, use those. And then the, the main part, the transfers. So the transfers are here in the bag for you. Let's go ahead and take those out. They're nice and sealed. Um, so that we can, they were nicely shipped to you, protected from the elements um, on the, sorry, events, I'm having you go all over the place. <laughs> um, you have a overview sheet that's on the top, gives you all of the information, the apparel items uh, from Transfer Express Apparel uh, that you have available to you as Transfer Express customers. Those apparel items, the same ones that we're going to be decorating today, those are here uh, listed on the sheet, um, and, as well as all of the transfer types. Uh, below that, you are going to see how we designed all of the artwork and all of the graphics that are in the transfers. And uh, just to note, all of the artwork that was used in the transfers was created using the Easy Prints layouts in the Easy View online designer over at transferexpress.com. All of those layouts make it um, super easy. We customized them using our own text and clip art. Uh, we used different fonts in some of the clip art. We have a whole video uh, detailing exactly how we um, how we designed and. Uh, ordered all of those transfers. So all of that is listed on there. Um, and then instructions on how to apply. Um, specifically, we're going to start with the Ultra Color Pro transfers. So we need our heat press set at 340 degrees. Um, so then if you are working with a non-branded Hotronics heat press, go to 350. But for everyone else working with a Hotronics, 340 degrees Fahrenheit we're going to start with, okay? Um, so let's see everything else on here. And then we're going to go through, um, the different types of transfers. We've got pearl prints and we've got goof proof, um, coming up and I'll go over all of the details with that transfer. So, um, let's go the next step. We've got, um, a very, very fun holiday drink recipe that, uh, we wanted to include for you all. It is a toast to transfers, obviously. So we wanted to give an appropriate toast to transfers with a lovely eggnog white Russian for you all. It's one of my favorite drinks. Um, the white Russian part, not necessarily the eggnog part. I don't know if you guys are 
uh, are similar to me in that fashion, but I'm not the biggest fan of eggnog. Either way, it's a classic holiday drink, especially with the white Russian. Delicious, one of my favorites. Um, so if you guys are toasting along with me, we have our cocktail. So now, just to go over this real quick, we've got two ounces of coffee liqueur. We've got two ounces of vodka. We're really doing equal parts here. We've got two ounces of eggnog. Um, you can, if you don't like eggnog like me, you can replace it with um, just your cream, just a regular cream, half and half, something like that. Um, and then, so I've got my nice little cocktail. I hope you guys are all drinking along with me and having a nice little toast. And then to fancy it up, we are going to put a little garnish of nutmeg on top just for sprinkling. And then you guys have yourself a delicious eggnog white Russian. And I hope you guys have fun. Um, let me check over to the chat before we get going and looking at those transfers and going over the details. But I want you guys all to take a second as you are waiting for your heat presses, maybe to heat up to that 340 degrees to grab your drink, water, iced tea, your eggnog white Russian, whatever it is that's in front of you. Let's give a toast to transfers. Happy holidays. Thank you all for being here with us today, especially all of the veterans out there. Happy Veterans Day to you. I think it's tomorrow. Um, so thank you all for your service, all of you across the country, um, those of you who are still here with us today and those who have served and passed on. Thank you all for um, from the bottom of our hearts um, at Transfer Express. Uh, we honor you. Happy Veterans Day um, and cheers to you all for a toast to transfers. Delicious. Delicious. Okay. So, all right, let's get over to the chat. Um, cheers. Cheers, cheers, all you guys. Thank you all. Cheers, D'Anthony. Okay. Yes, Tina, it actually is extremely, extremely yummy, especially when you add that little bit of nutmeg for the garnish. Really, really um, like smooths it out. Okay, that is delicious. Okay, let's talk about, um, oh, uh, Dave just um, reminded me, Veterans Day, um, because I totally forgot, we do have um, our military discount at Transfer Express. So if you are a military member, um, please go to transferexpress.com and you guys can register for the military discount to get your discount for the um, heat transfers. So don't forget to do that. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of our veterans. Okay, so that being said, let's get to the transfers. Sorry, I'm going all over the place, but this is what happens when you do a toast to transfers. It's kind of loosey-goosey. Okay. See, and Dave is getting warm. The heat press is really getting warm. The, the hat is warm, all of it. So um, we feel you guys, if you guys are in the same situations in a small little room with your heat press going and it's a little warm in the room, we feel you. So I'm just checking the, checking the chat, just making sure that we're getting everybody. Okay. All right. Our transfers. So inside the kit, we're going to be looking at the transfers. We've got a bunch of different transfers for you all. Okay. To start with, we I, like I said, the first thing that we are going to um, to use is the Ultra Color Pro. The Ultra Color Pro is the newest uh, heat transfer from Transfer Express. It is in the Ultra Color Digital Transfer Full Color line, uh, where you can get um, bright full color artwork, photographic artwork with fades and colors and rainbows and all of that. Um, printed in a transfer form where you can print with your heat press. So um, they will be here for you. There are two different options for you. We are going to press the first, let's see. Yeah, we are going to press the crew neck sweatshirt and we are going to choose, you guys can choose. There's two options here for you. Um, you guys can choose either one. Um, now the Goof Pro, or I'm sorry, the Ultra Color Pro Full Color Transfers. Um, they are available on the sheet. You guys have some individual designs here, 
but certainly when you go to order Ultra Color Pro, you can order them on a sheet and a gang sheet specifically, and then cut them apart and press. So thank you, thank you. Um, the They are ready for you to go. One thing I will tip off, um, go ahead and cut off that little black mark on the corner. It's a little black registration mark that comes with the Ultra Color Pro when it's printed. Um, and just as a fail safe so that it's not making any kind of marks on your apparel. You can go ahead and just trim those off. You're, you're gonna want a pair of scissors. Um, so grab a pair of scissors if you don't have them. Um, and you guys can go ahead and trim off those little black marks. Um, Ultra Color Pro, it's printed um, using CMYK artwork. You can upload and design all of your artwork in, our, um, in Easy View. Create them with layouts, create them with our clip art, add as many colors as you want with them. And they are amazing for your higher quantity, um, full color, lots of color in your artwork uh, orders. So the Ultra Color Pro, two different designs to choose from. You guys are going to be um, the deciding factor which one you want to, which one you want to use. Okay. Then we are going to get into pearl prints. So Pearl Prints is a, a little different than the Ultra Color Pro. It is a spot color transfer, um, meaning it's great for your one color, your two color designs, um, and your uh, it's screen printed with a Plastisol ink and a very, very nice shimmery ink color. So the Pearl Prints, um, we are going to decorate in the pearl green. So that is available to you. It is printed on the sheet as well, where you can gang different images on the sheet. So again, you guys be the decider in which design you want to use on the apparel items that you guys have. And then you can save the other one for something else fun. Okay, and then we have our goof proof screen printed transfers. Ah, the most popular screen printed transfer that Transfer Express has. Um, Transfer Express is bread and butter. This is what we do so, so good. Um, the Goof Proof screen printed transfers um, are amazing. They will decorate probably 90 some percent of the apparel that you are going to be decorating for your customers. They are great for those one, two, three. Uh, you can even go up to 20 some colors if you wanted to. Um, however, Goof Proof, just like Pearl Prints, is a spot color transfer, meaning that the number of colors that you add in your artwork will increase the price of the transfers because um, we're layering, we're screen printing the different colors on top. So it is priced by the number of colors. Unlike the full color transfers, which you can put all the colors that you want on the transfer sheet and it doesn't affect the price. So Goof Proof, um, is perfect for your lower color count. Um, but again, you can gang sheet on that 11 and a quarter by 14 inch gang sheet. And as you can see here, we have six designs, six holiday designs that you can choose from that we are going to decorate that uh, Christmas stocking with. So, okay. So we have our six different designs this is the Goof Proof in white. I'm not sure how well you can see it in the, in the camera, but this is, I promise you, there are designs on the sheet. Um, so as soon as we apply that, you will see them bright and beautiful on the Christmas stocking. And then you can use any of the other designs on the sheet to use for whatever other um, decorating that you wanna do. Maybe give a gift to a friend, use it as a, a little sample piece to show customers, um, what have you, a little gift. So. Um, there's the goof proof. Okay. I think that is everything in the kit. So as you can see, we've got a lot to do. We've got a lot to decorate. We're going to give another cheers to you all. Cheers. All right. We've got our heat breath at 340. All right. We are going to Start first, if you all grab your district, the VIT fleece, really, really nice, um, mid-weight, nice fleece, very soft. 
You guys all have a chance to now decorate it. Um, the heat press here, 340 degrees. The Hotronics Auto Clam 16 by 20. Um, all you need to do, uh, especially with a thicker sweatshirt like this, um, we don't have a hood to deal with. We don't have pockets or um, like any hoodie pockets or strings or anything. So this makes a really, really nice, easy um, apparel item to decorate this District VIT fleece. So I'm going to go ahead. You just have to slide it back on your heat press. You can either do it this way where you're loading it up with the two layers on the heat press or some people like to open it up and thread or dress the platen like this. So either way, if you don't have the capability to thread or dress like we have here on the Hottronics Auto Clam, you can certainly just lay it flat. I will advise though, um, I see some people pressing their, their designs like this with the collar up here and then pressing down just like this. Uh, I'd advise you not to do that um, just because these obstructions up here may cause for some uneven pressure. Uh, so what we like to do is uh, press or push that all the way up so that the collar and as much as off the press as possible. All right. Um, so then we are going to pre-press and check our pressure. So we're at that 340 degrees. I'm going to try and lock it down, but if you can't, go ahead and loosen up on the pressure because I want to be between a 6 and an 8 on the Hotronics Auto Clam, uh, and that's a 60 to an 80 PSI uh, if you're working with a, uh, an air-compressed heat press. So once you get it all... Um, pre-pressed, removes any moisture or wrinkles. We get it all nice and warm and cozy. We are going to grab our Ultra Color Pro. And again, go ahead and choose whichever one you want. I'm gonna go with the Santa Baby. I cut off those registration marks, if you remember. Um, and I can go ahead and use Let's see, it's hiding in there. Um, if you're not sure if you have, um, if you're new to even placing, we have that alignment ruler uh, available in the kit and it totally helps with making sure that it's aligned. So it's really easy to use. You just straighten it up with the collar, okay? I'm gonna get that collar off of the press. And then you can use that center point um, sometimes you can even, this is what I like to do, is do a little fold, match up the design, the edges of the design. And I like to give a little pinch just to find that center of the design really easy. And then you align the top of the design with the bottom edge of the placement ruler. Before you press, make sure you remove that ruler. You don't want to press the ruler accidentally. And then um, the Ultra Color Pro transfers, go ahead and lock it down and it applies for that 10 seconds. So then once that applies, the Ultra Color Pro is amazing um, because it is a hot peel, full color transfer. You don't have to wait until it cools down. You can hear that peel so, so nice. It peels amazing, so easy, it peels hot. One step application, <laughs> which is amazing for a full color hot peel transfer to only really need to apply it one step. So Ultra Color Pro, um, hopefully you guys all, all did great. If I'm going too fast, please let me know. Um, I know you guys are all pressing along with me. Um, but it looks amazing. It's a little warm still, but that's okay. Ready to wear as soon as it cools down. Um, and then you can all see um, how nice, how smooth. Okay. Now, for those of you who are asking about the placement ruler, that ruler so, so easy to use, helps with aligning. I like to grab it out every once in a while and even recheck myself uh, once I think that I'm, um, you know, I'm, I've got it. I've, you know, I'm getting it in the center every time. I like to just pull it out and double check myself just to make sure. So um, that uh, alignment ruler is available to you in the application kit 
um, that we have available to you guys at transferexpress.com. That application kit comes with the ruler. It has some test strips in there. Uh, it has a lot of um, different tools for you guys to help and make sure that your heat press is ready to go spot on and you're pressing all of the transfers correctly. Um, so uh, the application ruler can be found on our website. And I think Mike threw, yep, yep, Mike just threw the link in the chat. So you can find that there. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank you for the question. Um, so yeah, how did everybody's turn out? Let's see. You guys have made me a fan of district garments. I tell you, they are so nice. Um, they are inexpensive even. They seriously do not break the bank, but they have very, very matching qualities to those higher end brands that you see out there. So if your customer is looking for um, that soft feel, um, the nice quality of the stitching, and uh, even the ease of decorating it for you all, um, the district line is amazing. So yes, I totally agree with that. Um, so if they are looking for more of an inexpensive line that, you know, but they are still trying to be fashion forward, try out that district. Okay. Okay. Design's not peeling off. Make sure, double check your um, time, temperature, and pressure. Um, check your heat press. You want to be at that 340 degrees, 350 degrees even. Okay. And immediately peel it. Like I said, it's a hot peel transfer. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Peel it immediately. Hot. Okay. Um, so maybe those things will help. Uh, make sure you're not using any type of pillows or uh, thicker cover sheets on top. Even a upper platen cover can uh, lower the temperature that's actually getting to the transfer. So that might not make it um, able to peel also. So make sure you're peeling that quick and you should be good. And no collars, no seams. Cool? Okay. Hopefully that helps. Um, and for sure, our team is here to help you guys. If you need more assistance, don't hesitate to email us, call us, anything like that. And we are here in the chat, of course. So we will make sure that everybody is pressing and it's perfectly fine. Okay, so let's, it works on cotton, polyester, and cotton poly blends. Okay. Now let's, let us, let us work on the, um, the V-neck ladies district t-shirt. Okay. This one's a very, very nice cotton style shirt. And we are going to make sure that we are at that 340 degrees for the 10 seconds. And we are going to use next up the pearl prints, pearl prints transfers. This is the pearl green. Uh, pearl prints transfers uh, come in single colors. So you get individual colors available with these. So you've got pearl green, pearl pink, pearl copper. Um, what am I missing? Pearl purple, pearl blue, pearl red. We've, you'll check them out on, on our website to get all of them. But yes, we've. this is the pearl green that we are going to be decorating today. The pearl gives you that nice little metallic shimmer uh, in the ink. Not so much that it's full on glitter, but just enough to wear um, females, males all across the board uh, is comfortable wearing this type of ink. So you can use it, make it really nice in logos. Um, it really, really makes a nice print um, in your, you know, boutique, trendy, um, Etsy style uh, designs, but you can use pearl prints uh, in your transfers. So that is available uh, as you order in easy view, you'll just select the pearl prints screen printed transfer type when you go and order those. Like I said, these are printed on a gang sheet. So we fill up that gang sheet with as many designs as we can fit. And it is priced um, by how many, sh um, how many sheets you need. And then it is the single color that is available. So we can go ahead and get that ready by um, taking your scissors and going ahead and cutting your designs. We have two designs on here. You can really get creative and cut even those individual pieces apart if you wanted to and go crazy. But 
we have the, those designs already set up for you. Go ahead and choose either the rockin' around or the let it snow. Okay. I'm gonna do the let it snow. Okay. All right, everybody good? We're gonna be moving back to the heat press. I don't wanna go too fast. Make sure we're all good. Okay. We'll take another little sip of the eggnog, white Russian. Cheers, toast. Okay. Now let's get our, our shirt, our district V-neck. We're going to make sure that that V-neck is off of the press, just like we did with the crew neck. Okay, so when we put that on, we can make sure that we push it all the way back. Um, when designing, I like to make sure, especially for when placing, when I'm working with a V-neck, um, the application ruler sometimes doesn't come into play here. Uh, so we're going to, I'm gonna put the application ruler to the side. And I am just gonna go um, about a finger or two, about one inch to two inches down from the, uh, from the edge of the collar. So it's a little different because we've got extra space from the V-neck collar. So we don't want to place the design too far down. Um, and I do, I, I, did, I did this the other day when I was practicing doing this, um, doing this shirt, I placed it a little too far down so that it became a, a little bit of a belly print. So we're not going to make that mistake today. Um, so I made that mistake for you guys. You're not going to make that mistake as you're doing it. We're only going to be going about one inch down from that, um, from the edge of the collar, or yeah, from the edge of that V-neck collar. So we are going to make sure that that is stretched out. We are going to do a little pre-press, a couple seconds. Um, because I went from a crew neck uh, thicker sweatshirt to a t-shirt thinner material, um, my pressure, my pressure is no longer a medium to firm pressure. So we have to dial it back in you guys. So we're gonna have to tighten up our pressure and make sure that we're at that medium to firm, six to an eight. And that might require you guys to lock it down a couple of times and that's okay. We're just gonna make sure, like I was there, that we are at a medium to firm, which I was. So perfect. Okay, collars off of the press, good. Okay, now different from the Ultra Color Pro, the Pearl Prince is a cold peel. So um, as soon as that heat press pops up, we don't want to peel that transfer paper right away. We want to let that sit on the heat press and cool down. So after I apply it, I'm not going to be pulling the transfer paper. We're going to let it cool off to the side uh, before we go ahead and peel it. So with your design, we're going to do it ink side facing down. And like I said, you want to go that just that little inch from that edge of the collar. Okay. And especially with designs that have like a lot of fancy stuff for little details at the top, um, I try and get closer to that collar. Um, but for here, this is perfect. Um, we are centered, same amount of space, one side of the transfer to the other. You can grab a ruler if you really wanna get um, specific and particular. But this is a toast to transfers. We've got a drink in our hand. So we are going to just go with it and lock it down. All right, and see what happens. I think that we were good though, okay? I think we were good. So 10 seconds, medium to firm pressure. Um, and as that pops up, again, it's a cold peel transfer. So we don't wanna peel it right away. We wanna carefully move it off to the side. And I'm gonna make some space. Wanna lay it down, give it some breathing room. There's some tricks that people do to cool things down a little bit faster. So this one was at 340 degrees. Um, again, if non-hotronics um, heat presses are out there, go ahead and bump that up to 350 when you're applying it. But we're gonna let this cool down. We are going to let that cool down completely before I peel it. I'm not going to touch it. It's still really, really, really hot. I'm gonna go back over to the heat press really quick before we head over to the goof proof transfers. I have to raise up my temperature and get my heat press ready to go uh, for the next transfer. 
I don't want to forget. I've done that before, and then you all have to wait along with me a little bit longer <laughs> as my heat press warms up. So we're not going to do that today because we remember to raise our heat press temperature. Um, goof proof, 365 degrees for uh, four to six seconds. You're going to want to, um, again, bump up that temperature if you're not using a hotronics. So I'm going to set my pre-press temperature to four seconds and then my other pressing temperature, I like to go in the middle at five. Um, okay. So we're going to wait until that warms up and then the Hotronics Auto Clam 16 by 20, and that is on a caddy stand. Um, how long to wait, Amanda? Uh, until it's cold. <laughs> However long, if you're in a really, really hot place, it might take a little bit longer. Um, some people like to use uh, heat erasers um, to help lower the temperature a little bit faster, um, but a couple minutes, really when it's nice and cold to the touch, you will wanna make sure that it is peeled. Okay, uh, sometimes I'll do a run. So if you have, if you're pressing say 25, 50 shirts and you're using like a cold peel transfer, I'll press, I'll do a run, um, set them off to the side I don't like to try and stack too many on top of each other all at once because they have a hard time cooling down uh, if they're like that. But I'll do small little stacks and um, allow them to cool down and then I'll go back through and peel them all at once. So I've got Dave over here motioning. My mic is. All right. Hold on. Mic switch, you guys. Sorry if you couldn't hear me. I didn't realize. Vince ran out in a tizzy. <laughs> so hold on. Okay, we're gonna get remiked here. No worries. I turned it off so that. Can you hear me? Can people hear me? Yes. Okay. All right, guys, we're back in business. Sorry, I didn't realize, if you couldn't hear me and you need me to go back over. Yeah, sorry, Ann, I see. Okay, it's back. Okay, I think we're good. Much better. All right, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. All right, battery issue. Those batteries. Okay, where are we at with the heat press? We're getting set, reset up back in the background. No worries. We're almost there. That hot trying to up quick. Okay. Um, <laughs> there's not much time even in between to chit chat. So how does everybody, we're going to peel that before we move on to the goof proof stocking, the main event, getting ready for Santa Claus. Okay. Ooh, Casey, Cassie, I love the way the pearl prints feel so soft. Okay. You already peeled yours, which means that mine is probably ready. Yes, it is. It feels nice. Um, my mic is rubbing against my sweatshirt. I'm sorry. Okay, we're going to fix it. Sorry, guys. We're all in this together. <laughs> all right, switching back. All right, how many inches, can you hear me now? Hear me now? Okay, good. How many inches down from the neck collar to print the art logo? So for the V-neck, we did about one inches, uh, one inch, um, one and a half maybe. Uh, so then the crew neck sweatshirts were about three, four inches. Um, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo. Down from the collar. If I don't have this handy dandy ruler in front of me, I'll usually do three, four fingers as like a quick check. 
if you don't have that available. So just kind of, um, you know, that three, four inches is a general, general rule of thumb. Okay, sounds good. All right, everybody can hear me now. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays. We are going to peel the pearl prints transfer now because it is definitely cooled down since we had the mic switch. Um, but you can go ahead and peel it in a smooth, even motion. Some of you already have. And it peels so smooth. I love me some pearl prints. Um, again, pearl prints gives you that super, super nice shimmer to it. Not too much to where it's very, very glittery, but just enough. I've heard some people compare it to like um, a car metallic paint uh, where it's just that nice subtle shimmer to it. So again, the let it snow in the pearl green we have there. So fun. And a lot of you guys might not have tried that pearl prints yet. Um, so this gives you a perfect opportunity to try a full size design of it, see how you like it, uh, see if any customers are interested in it. I'm sure they will be because it is really, really nice. Um, but yeah, so you guys all had a little, a little taste of the Pearl Prints and the Ultra Color Pro. So um, we are going to move on to everybody's favorite, and that is the Goof Proof Transfers. So easy to apply. This isn't going to take us much time because the Goof Proof Transfers apply from four to six seconds. So we can apply uh, a lot of shirts in a short amount of time. Um, and I say shirts and I mean whole variety of things. Shirts, sweatshirts, tote bags, Christmas stockings, uh, Santa hats, all of that uh, cotton, polyester, cotton poly blends. You can decorate it all with the Goof Proof screen printed transfers. Goof Proof is going to be great for your um, one and two color designs. Three color designs, if your quantity is a little bit higher, is going to be a nice um, a cost for you per transfer. But it's bread and butter is the one, two color, um, two color designs that you guys have. We have an awesome, if you get confused with all of these transfer types, there is a handy dandy uh, little chart that we've made up for you guys to make it easier for you to pinpoint which type of transfer to use when. So I know it's a lot to go over when we're going through the different transfers. When I say, this one's full color, this one's screen printed, this one's for one colors, this one's for full colors. All of that, it's so confusing sometimes, um, but we did make a easy to use chart that you guys can use as you choose your quantity um, and how many colors are in your design. And it'll give you a nice little reference as to what transfer is gonna be economically and you know for and best for that quantity and that type of artwork. Um, some variations in there for sure, depending on um, how many you're doing or um, you know the size of the design and uh, the type of equipment that you have available to you. If you do have other equipments uh, like uh, vinyl cutters, for instance, uh, but all in all, that handy chart, the uh, what to use when chart will definitely help you guys kind of navigating the different types of heat transfers that we have for you. But 90% of the orders that you guys might come across, uh, goof proof, I, I will steer you towards a majority of the time, especially when you're decorating that cotton polyester and cotton poly buttons. Okay, so. They are ready for you on the gang sheet. Before we do that, we are going to cut them apart. So let's go ahead and cut them apart. And let me find actually, before I get too far ahead of myself, let me, let me find my stocking. Now we already, um, we already sized all the designs to fit perfectly on the stocking. I advise you all to do that too. If you're working with an object that you haven't decorated yet, definitely um, measure the print area but we've sized all of the designs to fit on the stocking. Um, but this is just a polyester uh, stocking. And now it does have some ribbon here um, on, the, on the top of it. Um, so I, before anybody decorates, uh, I, wanna, I wanna caution you, this ribbon can melt underneath the heat press. So we wanna make sure when we're aligning this on the heat press, don't put the ribbon underneath the heat, okay? So warning, warning, warning. I did it a little earlier 
Uh, <laughs> and I had to wipe off my the top platen of my heat press. So I don't want you guys all to make the same mistake um, and then take the time to clean off your heat press as we're rolling. It did only take me a couple seconds just because that Hotronics is covered with uh, or coated with a non-stick coating, just like your pots and pans. So it makes it easy to clean off. Um, either way, I don't want you guys to make that mis same mistake. So don't press the, the little ribbon that's on. I'm gonna show you guys what to do to make sure that that's just hanging off of the press there. But before we go over back to the heat press, let's grab our goof proof transfers. There's a lot of different designs on here. We've got, we've got an O snap design. Um, we've got just a Santa Claus, ho, ho, ho. We've got a tis the season, naughty, nice. Hung by the chimney with care. Okay, we're gonna do, and yeah, the ho, ho, ho one. Which ones do we have back here? Ho, 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 let's do a different one. All right, we're gonna do this one. Hung by the chimney with care. It's adorable. Okay, so you can cut off the design that you want to decorate on your Christmas stocking. Um, and the Goof Proof um, transfers, this one is white, the white ink, uh, most popular color, white and black. Uh, no surprise there, <laughs> most common colors. And um, it is printed with the Plastisol ink. Same ink as screen printing. So this gives you the exact same quality, durability um, all across the board. It is screen printed. So you will be confident that you are decorating a quality, quality item. Now, let's go back to the heat press. We are at 365 degrees. Remember to up your temperature if you are working with a non-hotronics. Um, and then make sure that you're not pressing over the ribbon. <laughs> Little tips. Okay, so I think that that's better for the camera. Okay, so I'm gonna just make sure that that's just hanging off. My non-slip cover, it's a little slippery. That's okay, we're gonna hold it. We're gonna press down. We're gonna do a quick little pre-press. I was at a five pressure. I'm gonna go up just a little bit just to make sure I'm at that six to an eight. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my Goof Proof white ink transfer. Position it, the grid lines on the back help us do a little bit of aligning, getting us straight. And then once you're ready, bing, bang, boom, five seconds, medium to firm pressure, hot peel. While it's hot. And now you've got yourself a screen printed Christmas stocking. Very nice. How did everyone's turn out? Now, just to note that white stays white. It is an opaque white and you can feel Feel confident on that red that it is going to stay white, which is really nice. How do you clean a heat press? <laughs> um, so on my, yeah, exactly. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> so I was using, I think that one earlier, um, but I just grab a junk t-shirt or um, something soft, soft cloth. And then the upper platen is, um, you know, coated with that nonstick and I just rub it. I make sure I'm not like burning my fingers. I've got them covered really nicely with this cloth. You can even use like one of those of gloves or heat gloves or something like that for from curling irons. Um, but yeah, I just go up and I, if I have some smudge, I'll just do a little rub rub. Um, you can turn down the heat press a little bit if you are worried uh, about burning yourself, turn it down. Um, and also you can use like a non-porous, cleaning solution, uh, just a gentle cleaner if you really need to. Um, sometimes things happen and your transfer gets pressed upside down when somebody interrupts you. <laughs> there you go, thank you. Um, it happens, it happens to all of us. I'm sure a lot of people on here can attest that they've pressed a transfer upside down by no fault of their own maybe. Um, but some of you guys are pressing with kids around or watching TV, listening to music, somebody comes in to talk to you, the phone rings, all of that happens, and the transfer goes upside down. Um, with the Goof Proof transfers, it can get a little bit messy because it is ink, um, but it's not bad to clean off. You just grab an old uh, t-shirt or cloth and 
get to wiping. <laughs> but it does come off fairly easy. It's not, not terrible. But it can be cleaned. Mistakes happen in heat printing. Uh, we've all been there. So I'm, I'm sure you guys have all been there too. Uh, but it happens. Heat presses, though, especially the Hotronics, are definitely easy to clean. Um, all right. Monique says everything turned out great. Love this. Um, so sad about the sweatshirt. Yes, Carol, we're going to help you figure out what went wrong there. Um, Brindy, all the transfers worked perfectly for me. Perfect. Awesome. Um, if you need to pre repress for a, with a cover sheet, how long should you press? A couple seconds. If you, if you just have, um, a, just like a paper cover sheet, um, non-stick craft paper or something like that, or the cover sheets that we offer at Transfer Express, um, just a quick couple second press. It doesn't take long to, um, to do a little repress. Um, and you can even go as long as the, as the transfer, um, required, even that 10 seconds if you needed to. Uh, happy to learn tonight rather than on something I need to work. Oh, I'm so happy that you came and joined us today, Lisa. This was so much fun. I love coming on here with you guys um, and having this time to have a sip of a cocktail, get to the heat press, having some fun. The holidays are coming up really fast. And I don't know, it, you guys, I've got little kids and the this time is going by so, so fast. It's slipping by. Um, so the holidays are right around the corner and I don't know if you guys all have all noticed, but Christmas is all over the store shelves right now. Um, a holiday craft shows, uh, craft fairs are going to be going on here. Usually, um, the last couple weeks of November, they start to get everybody ready for the holidays. So now is the time. That's why we wanted to come on here with you all today and do a wonderful toast to transfers and get you guys ready for the holidays. Get you guys using some transfers that maybe you haven't even tried yet before, some apparel items to help you give a little bit of a practice run. Maybe you haven't decorated a V-neck before and you didn't want to you know, do a belly print on a customer's piece of apparel, but this gave you wonderful practicing time, um, a great, great way to learn. So I, I definitely appreciate you all joining me today. Let us know. I want you all to join me over too on social media. If you can, if you decorated, um, please take a picture of what you decorated and go over and post it, share it, tag it, because um, I want to see how yours all turned out. If you're not comfortable on social media, that's okay. Go email it to us. I would love to see what you guys all did um, and how everything turned out. All right. Where can you find the chart that we mentioned? So the what to use when chart, Dave is going to, or Mike will add the um, link in the chat for you all so that you guys can use that what to use when chart um, and have it available to you. Go ahead and print it out or save it, tag it, um, just so that you have it available to you. Again, it's not going to cover all of the jobs, but it does give you a nice pinpoint of where you should start um, with what transfer to use. So really from Transfer Express, um, Goof Proof is our number one selling transfer type for those lower color count um, designs. And um, the Ultra Color Pro is going to be great for your full color designs. Um, Pearl prints is a fun specialty transfer if you're looking for something special with a little bit of a shimmer to show your customers um, or just to do something different on your apparel, the pearl prints is there. There are definitely other transfer types over at Transfer Express, whether you're decorating on uniforms, uh, elastoprints, for instance, will be great for your polyester apparel. Um, we have the Ultra Color Max, the DTF transfers from Transfer Express that you guys can use. And those are great for your full color, low quantity um, transfers. So the Ultra Color Max. Now, the Ultra Color Max, there's the, um, the two transfers in the Ultra Color line. The Ultra Color Max um, is the DTF transfer is great for your full color designs, but low quantity. It is a $25 minimum order and it is priced by the, um, by the square inch. It is six cents a square inch. So it is priced by the size of your design um, and how many you're using. Now, the Ultra Color Pro 
price by the sheet, no matter how many colors you have in there, but you can fill up that sheet. Ultra Color Pro is going to be great for your larger runs. So if you're confused about the two ultra, ultra color transfers, we've got a nice little blog that um, that differentiates them, gives you the pros and cons, the benefits of each one, um, as well as we have a ton of samples that we can send you for free. So if you um, haven't tried any of these transfers and you're so confused as to what I'm talking about, but you want to try them yourself, you can go ahead and order uh, the free samples. When you register for an account with Transfer Express, you will automatically receive the free samples. But if there's something that you wanna see, like the specialty transfers that you haven't tried yet, go ahead and request free samples. We're happy to send them to you so you guys can try them. Um, but these, this gives you a great opportunity to, to try um, a variety of our fun, most popular products. Okay, will the heat press go on sale for Black Friday? Stay tuned from Transfer Express for all of your Black Friday sales, okay? Go to our blog, on our social media page. We will give you all of the details as they come out to get you guys ready for Black Friday. We are so excited. So yes, Black Friday, keep a lookout. Um, 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 how much was the kit? This one, 45? 35, 35. So 35 to try the three different products with three different transfer types and some extra transfers to spare. So wonderful. Um, does it cost for the Transfer Express account? No. So um, Transfer Express account, um, no, no cost. Uh, register, we'll send you a free sample pack. Uh, you'll have access to Easy View. Order your transfers, no cost. Um, yeah, there's no, no strings attached, no obligation there. We're not going to charge you every month or anything like that to use the transfers it, or to use like easy view or go on our website. Um, it's there for you to use, use our designs. We have a ton of layouts in the easy view online designer. Uh, if you are not an artist, if you don't have an expensive graphic design program, or even if you do um, and want to use easier artwork just to quickly customize for your customer, uh, go over to Easy View Online Designer and you will see a ton of different layouts that you can customize um, for your artwork. You put in your own text, you change the colors, you set up your gang sheet, you choose the size that you want, um, create a design for anything, for hats, for shirts, for pants, um, so easy view is there for you and it's free too for transfer express customers. Um, all right. It is not artwork that you download and then you use for other printing. It's a program that you use for designing your heat transfers that you're ordering from transfer express. So it's free. Okay. Um, all right. How can we save the chat if I miss some of the links? Um, I don't know. I'll ask. Um, <laughs> we'll have, we'll have the links available to you guys somehow. Um, do you have a good tutorial for ordering these transfers? Yes, we have a lot of tutorials actually. Um, in any way you want to consume them, whether you want to jump over to our YouTube channel and watch the video content that Dave and Vince and our video team creates, they are always creating new content to help you guys um, to learn how to order transfers, to educate you how to apply them, to how to sell them, to how to find customers and all of that. So um, the YouTube page is definitely there for you. Our blog has some walkthroughs. Um, and then we do have an easy view ebook um, that will walk you through detailed step-by-step -step of how to use easy view. So, um, I saw a question about stalls. I wanted to clarify. Um, so stalls transfer express, we are a stalls company. So stalls, um, is our counterpart. They are us, our sister company. So we have stalls, um, who they are there for your, uh, vinyl. They are there for your vinyl cutting. They also have ultra color max, which is awesome. So they are also, um, a seller of your heat presses. Um, but, Stalls is there mainly for your uh, your vinyl cutting for your vinyl needs, um, but they have a large range of products from um, emblems and patches. Their new product, my goodness, these emblems and patches. If you are not decorating hats, uh, I think you should be. Check out the um, auto 
uh, the 360 IQ for printing hats with the emblems and patches. They are amazing over at Stalls. So um, there's a little difference. At Transfer Express, we do the screen printed transfers. Uh, that's what we do best. So, so Transfer Express, screen printed transfers, Stalls, vinyl, CAD cut. Um, so that's kind of the difference between our two companies, but we are sister companies and, um, you know, we help each other out. We help, um, make sure that we're educating all of our customers to what product we use best. Um, so that's why you will see also stalls on the, what to use one chart. Okay. Instagram at transfer express, go check us out, message us, post um tag us in your post i'd love to see what you guys are working on um and of course what you decorated here okay guys great 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 all right i think that we're i think that we're we hit the mother load here okay we've got all of our things decorated we've got our ultra color pro santa baby save that other ultra color pro transfer for um something else for yourself we've got our goof proof transfer on our christmas stocking and we've got pearl prints on the ladies v-neck awesome so we've got transfers paper transfer papers flying everybody i want you guys to enjoy yourselves this evening um have a happy holidays coming up enjoy your thanksgiving and um especially happy veterans day to all of our veterans um we couldn't thank you guys enough for being here for ordering the kit for going along with us, seeing how everything turns out in a live video, and especially for enjoying a nice little cocktail with myself and my little holly jolly elf team behind, <laughs> behind the cameras. So uh, thank you, Mike. Everybody thank Mike for being in the chat uh, and for answering everybody's questions. Thanks, but, Mike. Yes, thank you, Mike. But again, okay, from all of us here in tra at Transfer Express in Menor, Ohio, we are here to ha say happy holidays. Thank you for being here for our lovely Toast to Transfers holiday heat printing event. We're going to keep that chat open just for a minute as we close out. Um, so you guys can all say your thank yous and goodbyes and see you laters. And we will be here for another live Toast to Transfers event here in, I think, about a month. So keep a lookout for all of the details. Um, you guys will have another opportunity to order and pre-order a pressing kit. So you can press along with me to try three brand new items with different transfers. Um, January, we're going to be doing that. So if you guys will all join me for that, I hope you hope you do. Uh, we will have so much fun as we did here today. So I really appreciate you all joining me. Um, we are going to go out there and be happy heat printers and be successful and decorate and spread some holiday cheer with our heat printing. So thank you guys all for joining me today. We had a blast. Appreciate you guys all being here. Happy heat printing. Thank you.